Hello friends! Today in this video I want to talk to you about the upgrade process of the Artemis Ninja V firmware. All you need for that is the hard drive that you probably have inside of the Artemis Ninja V. This is mine, I just have a little bit of a Velcro on it there so I can attach it to the back of my computer. So we'll need that. And one thing that is also extremely important is that you should do all of this with the power connected. So in my case when I turn this over here you can see I have the power adapter which is hooked up to a power strip and this is so that during the upgrade process it is actually not going to fail or be empty or any of those things. So make sure to connect the Atomus Ninja V to a power strip. Don't just use battery, it is much safer to do it this way. And then of course you also need a way to connecting this to your computer. In my case I have this docking cable which is USB-C to the SATA connection I think is called, something like that. So you need those two things, of course a computer, the Atomus Ninja V, and with that we can already get started and jump right into it. Now first up I think it's a good idea to check which version you actually have installed on your Atomus Ninja V. So when you have the menu looking like this, you have two ways of getting there. You can either go onto the settings menu on the lower right hand side right here and then scroll all the way to the right here, go onto info and there you have the version information for your device. Now if the screen looks a little different, for example like this, this is when the yellow sign right here is active and has way more information on the screen, then you can also jump up and go into the top right here, choose one of these menus, again scroll all the way to the right and then you have the version right there on the screen. Now the version you see on the screen here, 10.63, is actually the latest version as of making this video. But I can still guide you through the process and also install the whole thing again so that it kind of overrides the current version. So now what we have to do is figure out which version is actually the most current and of course also download those files, put them onto the SD card or the solid state drive rather and then see how the process continues on the Atomus Ninja V. I will have a couple of interesting links in the description below so that you can check out those yourself. Of course one is the Atomus interface where you can find the information register your Atomus Ninja V and also with that find out which version upgrades might be available for the devices that you are working with. And I will also link to the official help article for the upgrade process which is this right here. So if you want to go through this process based on these descriptions and not with me here in this video, you can also check that out. Now Adam has actually recently launched a really cool feature or a really cool platform called MyAdamus and you can find that at my.adamus.com. Now here you can set up an account and then register your products. One of the really easy ways to registering your products is actually on the device itself. You can go into the menu settings and then on the activation screen and I'm going to hold my hand here because there's a QR code which you can then use to basically get this information onto your phone really easily and then connect that to your account. Now on this page also you can manage all of those products that you have purchased from Atomus and if you go to the my products section then you will see the product that you have already registered here. Go onto the product and there we can actually find the firmware updates that are available to this device. So here you can see the most current Atomus 10 version is 63 and there we can update this one. Now it is going to download the file that we will need for the update process and as long as this is happening I can also show you that there's actually much more in the My Atomus interface like for example also a Atomus Academy and there you can actually learn a whole lot from industry leaders in different fields working with different types of cameras, working with the file formats that the Atomus Ninja V and others also support and especially also looking into ProRes RAW for example. However now we want to continue with our files and of course those are in the downloads folder and first things first we have to unzip this zip file and now that we have this file called adamnjv.fw and then we can actually take our uh, hard drive here or the SD 
connect that up and of course then take this and connect it to our computer. And once we have it there, it will hopefully also show up right there. And then we can open that up. And as you can see, I have a couple of work files on there, still video materials. Some of this stuff here is probably from testing. But what you essentially need to do to upgrade the firmware is just drag and drop this onto the drive so that it is in the root directory. So it's not in any subfolder or stuff like that. It's just in the root directory of the Ninja SSD. So we can eject that already and delete this file because we are actually done with that file already. And now we can go back, take this out from the computer and bring it back to the Atomus Ninja V. So we can just plop this in there. And now the next step is to simply reboot your device. So as you know, holding the on off switch for a little longer and it will shut down. And now when I hit the on off switch again and it starts up, we'll see that it will ask us to upgrade the firmware or it will just update the firmware from the file that is on the hard drive or the SSD. And now once this process is through, you are done with the firmware upgrade for your Atomus Ninja V and you can enjoy all the new features and bug fixes. You might have to actually turn it back on because it is going to shut off after the upgrade is finished. And with that, the Atomus is rebooted and ready to go. Now, if I go back into the settings over to the info tab, it is saying 10.63. But of course, that was also there in the beginning already. But that was the process of upgrading your Atomus Ninja V firmware to the latest version and also a look into the My Atomus interface. I really like how they made this super simple. I would love to see a similar implementation by other manufacturers like, for example, Zoom or Canon so that firmware upgrades are much easier to find. And I would actually prefer if those companies also would give me an option to be notified whenever a firmware upgrade is available specifically for my device. Because that is something that I have been missing for a long time. I don't really like to just get all of the newsletters. I just want the firmware upgrade newsletters. So that would be a great addition for this interface from Atomus, but also so that other people or other companies might add this in the future. Now, if this video helped you upgrade your firmware for the Atomus Ninja V, I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video. That always helps out a lot for the YouTube algorithm and of course also helps other people find these types of videos faster. Now, if you have any other questions or feedback, you can leave those in the comment section down below. Of course, there are links to a couple of things like the Atomus Ninja V and the firmware upgrade page, the My Atomus interface, all that are in the description below. And with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day upgrade your firmware of the Atomus Ninja V and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.